Hi, I'm Jesse Randall, ISU Extension Forester. We're in Northeast Iowa today and uh, we're out in this sugar bush. And, and this is a fairly new sugar bush. Uh, the lines have been in only a few years. But this producer did a, a really good job, even before they started running the lines, evaluating what this timber had. And, and by that I mean how many trees per acre he's looking at. Uh, we normally want about 70 to 80 taps per acre. And on these size trees, that means the, these are majority one tap trees. So we're looking at between 60 and 70 trees per acre. That's about a, a 25 foot spacing between the trees, maybe 23 foot spacing. That not only helps with running the lateral lines, but at that level, it allows you to have the, uh, the crown capacity. And, and there I mean, you have to have a certain amount of living crown uh, at the very top of the tree to produce leaves and photosynthate. That production is key if we want to have volume of sap, but also sap sweetness. Where we run into problems is where we have producers that see every maple tree as a potential tap tree, and they're not willing to thin out their stand to get crown capacity. I would rather have fewer trees per acre with bigger crowns to produce sweeter sap than more trees producing weaker sap or, or uh, diluted sap, let's say. So I want my sap content as an average to go up and I get that by adjusting the crowns. So preferably I'd be in that stand managing it for 60 to 70 trees per acre adjusting the spacing of those trees, adjusting how those canopies grow. If you have a healthy canopy that is one third to one half the overall height of the tree, you will be very pleased. When you start to creep upwards and have more trees per acre, those smaller canopies are gonna make that tree slow down its growth. It's gonna make it more likely to have insect and disease problems. So the more we can keep these stands growing faster, producing more leaves, it's going to equal more sap in the long run. So don't be afraid to get your forester into the stand, either before you, you put your tubings out or as you have tubing out there, don't be afraid to manage your timber. You need to thin it to keep it healthy. That's one thing that a lot of sugar producers, they put a lot of time and effort and money into their tubing systems, but they really don't do that initial step of checking the health of their stand and thinning that stand if it needs it. 